So in part four, I'm going to take you through probably one of my most favorite ways to go ahead and train with integration. And it's using hops and swings. Now I haven't showed you these up until this time because when you start bringing in hops and swings, you have to be really effective at bringing in integration. You have to have developed all your integration skills and control with all the previous exercises and things that I've talked to you about prior to this. And here's why. Because when we start increasing speed of movement, be it speed with upper body swinging or upper lower body hopping, your timing, your balance, your stability, and your coordination all have to be much more at a effective and much more ingrained in your training and movement system. So I don't want you to go ahead and hop into these, literally, or swing into these, literally, right away. I want you to learn how to go ahead and bring in things like squats, hinges, split squats, maybe reverse lunges, those types of things before you bring in hops and swings. But that said, let me take you through how to safely and effectively bring in hops and swings into your integration strength training. First and foremost, it's gonna be timing. All right, so we're gonna to have to make sure your timing is perfect. And let me take you through what I mean by doing that. I'm gonna bring in a yellow band and let's use jerk presses as an example. So we're gonna stand on the band, we're gonna step through, and the first thing you're gonna notice is I'm using a pretty light band, in this case, a yellow band. I highly recommend that you keep your resistance low so that you can go ahead and work on speed and gradually increasing your speed before increasing load. But always, always realize that load is there. You can always increase load. So let's go ahead now and let's talk about, first thing, you gotta have timing. So remember, you wanna go ahead and be able to go ahead, first of all, and do a simple push press. Now, if you can do that, you can go ahead and do a split squat push press. You could go ahead and do a step push press. All of those have to be in place first before you go to what we call a split jerk press, which is going to be that. Now realize you have to have timing. So that means that you're going to have to learn how to load your hips and your hands and feet have to move at the same time. So timing is going to be extremely important. Make sure you bring those other movements in first. The next thing you want to be able to do is we want to break down the movement so that it's controlled. And the best way to do that is to create a pause at the end of the hop or swing. So as an example, I'm going to go ahead and do my jerk press again. I'm going to explode, but I'm going to pause. I'm going to hold it there. That pause allows me to gain stability and control through the ground, but also from the top down through my hands and arms and shoulder blades. So that's the next thing. Make sure you bring in that pause. The next and most important thing is going to be to protect your band. How are you going to do that? By unloading first. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to explode. Now we've paused. Now we're going to unload the band first and then we're going to go ahead and bring ourselves back to our starting position. So it's explode, pause, bring and unload the band, and then go ahead and step into it. That's a really important point that you need to go ahead and make sure you incorporate. Now, the last thing, you're gonna notice that as I'm going through these movements, I'm going through in a very slow and deliberate way. Well, that's because I'm concerned about one rep, one rep only. So when I go ahead and I start incorporating hops and swings, I'm not worried about doing multiple reps for a period of time. I'm worried about doing one rep as fast as I can and then unload, reset, and go again. So those are your five keys to going ahead and bringing in hops and swings when you're going and bringing in your integrated strength training. Now let me go ahead now and just take you through that same sequence 
using a swing. So I'm going to bring my band in here, hook it over my hips. And that's one of the things that I like about using bands for hops and swings is because my hands are free. I can load my hips and easily bring in, bring in hops and swings. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use a split squat as my lower body strengthening and my swing, I'm going to bring in with my dowel. Why do I like to use a dowel? I like to use it because it allows me to go ahead and integrate both sides, right and left side, upper extremities, and work on my timing. Plus, it's kind of like bringing in Olympic movements, you know, cleans, jerks, presses, snatches. So I like to bring in the dowel for that reason. I'm gonna go into my split squat. Dowel is gonna be here, and I'm gonna go ahead, and the first thing I've learned is I've learned how to go ahead and do a split squat overhead reach. So I've learned how to do that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing quick and hold. Bring the load off, come back up. Set, explode. Bring the load off, come back up and switch. I could also go ahead and do a rotational swing. A little more challenging. So I bring the dowel up here, explode, and you can see I immediately lose my balance, but that's why you wanna work on it. It helps you control your balance. So let's see if we can stick it now. Here, there it is, and we bring it back. All right, so it's here, explode, unload, come back up. So that's how you can go ahead and bring in swings. Could you bring in frontal plane? Absolutely. Go here, drop down, and there again, woo! Got to work on my balance. See, that's why I'm bringing it in. That's why I want to work on it. I'm okay with that. So I'm here, swing, and I'm bringing it back here. Quick upper body movements that I'm going to go ahead and work. Now, could you go ahead and reverse the passion? Absolutely. You could go down and you could throw it up over top. But what you're going to find is... When you do your swings, there's going to be a specific direction that you want to swing in conjunction with your lower body exercise. Typically, what you want to follow is the swing is going to correspond with the concentric, excuse me, the eccentric movement of the lower body. So typically, as I go into my split squat and eccentrically load, I'm going to go ahead and do my quick swing. You'll learn that as you go along. If it feels uncoordinated, if you feel like you're losing your balance, you may be swinging through the wrong phase of the lower body strengthening. I know, I know, difficult stuff. Here's all I want you to take away. Take away that your arms and your lower body, when they're being used, as the integrated portion of the movement, speed can become just as important of an aspect of training as load. But when you bring in speed, you have to be committed to always working on good, solid balance, timing, and all the things that we've talked about prior to this. I hope that helps you out in how to bring in hops and swings into your integrated strength training.